Hello, my name is Leah Cole, and it is an honor to be your vocal coach today. Today, we're going to be working on what I like to call songs in our pocket. As vocalists, we need to be ready at any moment to have someone come up to us and ask for us to sing at an event or a wedding or a ceremony or whatever it may be. So I like to work on songs that are in our pocket so we are ready at a moment's notice. Also, to be able to confidently market yourself to possibly sing at an event. Maybe they didn't ask you, but you say, hey, I can sing this song. Would you like me to sing at your event? So I just think it's super important to have songs that you can confidently sing at a moment's notice. So today we're going to be working on the national anthem, one of the songs that you could hear at a lot of different events, but it can be very challenging at the same time. So let's first start off by warming up. For the purpose of this video, I am only going to do two warm-ups, but I highly suggest you continue to warm up after and pause this video because just like working out, you don't want to go to super heavy weights. You want to warm up your body to be able to do that, or you could potentially hurt yourself. And as I said, the national anthem can be a little bit challenging. So let's first warm up. So our first warm-up is... I took it straight from the first three notes of the national anthem. So here's how it's going to sound. Oh, 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 oh. And when you do this, nice deep breath, fill up your lungs, shoulders are back, and an O oh mouth. Oh, oh, oh. And if you want to make it shimmer, like I like to say sometimes a little bit, you're welcome to do that. So instead of oh. Oh, give it a little bit of a shimmer. Ready, here we go. Oh, 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 there you go. All right, like I said, feel free to keep doing that doing a different warm-up, but let's go ahead and continue to our next warm-up. Our next warm-up, we're going to do kind of a unique interval that is also in the National Anthem to prepare for us. So it's going to sound like this. Okay, so hear that shimmer in my voice. I want you to try to add that little bit of shimmer to it. So the interval that we're doing is a fourth, and that is in our song. Oh, say, can you see, you see? All right, so I want us to do it on an E. Ready, here we go. E, 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 E. Let's try to do it without a shimmer. I'm going to keep my hand. I'm not going to do this. So E, ready, go. E. Like I said, pause this video, do the warm-ups again, or do something else, and here we go. So now we are going to sing the national anthem. So for the purpose of this, we're going to practice it a cappella, which means we are singing without any music in the background. Now, the key to this song is making sure you don't start too high. If you start too high, the notes that are way up in the rafters, they're going to be even higher than the rafters. So you want to make sure you start in a comfortable spot. We're going to start on middle C for this. If while you're singing with me, if you feel that is comfortable, keep it. If you need to go higher or lower, play around with it. But you got to make sure you can confidently start on a note that you feel comfortable with. Okay? So here we go. We're going to sing. Oh, say, here we go. Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light? And we're going to stop there. So even though the song is very popular and a lot of people know it, you've got to make sure you still have clear diction, okay? Clear diction to give the song the honor that it deserves and for people to understand what you're singing, as always. So let's do it again. Ready, go. Oh, say, can you see by the dawn's early light? 